Sylvia Fowles, and I'm a professional basketball player. I'm Todd Troxell, and I'm a player development coach. And today we're going to talk about post moves. As be being a big girl, you have to be precise and find two moves that you can do well and stick with it. Now, what Syl's saying there is you really want to be efficient with the post moves that you're using. If you've got a really good hook shot, keep going <laughs> to the hook until the defense tries to stop you. Then when they cheat on the hook, have a counter to it. Don't make post moves complicated. Make it where you're really good at maybe two and then add maybe three or four. But if you're really good at one post move, you should just need a counter to that post move most of the time. So we're gonna show you a couple of them. First, we're gonna show you the hook and all these are gonna be with no dribble. Sil's gonna show oh, you geez. the hook, no dribble. Very nice. And then to the left hand. Everything we do, we practice the right hand and the left hand. We'll give you that one. Other side. And you want to try both sides of the floor. Hook. Left hand. Very good. The second one we're going to do is the counter to the hook with a little more, sh more shoulder. So it's going to catch the ball and not establish her pivot so her defense doesn't know. She's going to sell it with her shoulder and then come back with the hook to the left. Sell it with her shoulder, come back with the hook to the right. And to the left. Good. And we'll go to the other side. Now every time we practice, we practice both sides of the floor. You, want to be, you don't want to just be good at one spot. You want to be good on both sides. So to the baseline, back up to the hook. Very nice. Okay, the next one's an up and under. Now what Syl's going to do on the up and under is she's going to sell her hook, come across, not bringing the ball down for the defense to steal it. She's going to sell the hook, come Cross across her face. her face, and then back up. All right. Sell the hook, across, keeps the ball high. Very good. Not for you little people. Now to the left hand hook. Sell it, cross <laughs> her face, up and under. Come to the other side, same thing. Sell it, good. To the left, she sells, or to the right, sells the hook, crossed her face, ups and finish. Now, those are moves with no dribble. Now, when you start to dribble, there's a couple important things you wanna do. We're gonna do the same thing, a hook, a counter, and up and under, but now she's gotta start dribbling the ball. There's a couple things that are very important as a big when you start to dribble. Whenever you dribble, it gets a little scary because you got a lot of people coming in and reaching trying to steal the ball. So it's got good posture. Remember one thing is, stay big all the time. You see, Syl's nice and big. She's not small and bunched over, she's big. Now, secondly, always use your body to protect from the ball. So don't put the ball out first. Lead with your body and then the ball. So like this, Syl's gonna protect, and then that way I can't get into the ball. Okay, so now on the dribble, Syl's gonna show you, and go somewhere. Also, on your moves. Yes. Don't take little mini steps, huh, Syl? Yes, don't you, take mini steps. Use those big steps, cover some ground, and use your body and your off arms. Don't get your arms inside. Stay big all the time. First one we're gonna do is a left-handed hook. That way, one more. She's big, goes up. Okay, now, as the defense still's got a nice hook, they're gonna start cheating. So she's got a counter move. Counters to the baseline and goes up. Now an important thing, which Syl just did perfect there, is when you counter, Stay she's low. gonna feel me. And then she's gonna come back and her leg and her arm are gonna hook me so I can't get through her. This Stay is very low. important on the counter. And we have to have a low base when you turn as well. Get that leg so that I can't, when Syl comes here and she drops this leg, I can't get through her leg. It protects her from me, the defense, from the ball. So get that leg low and use these elbows. Now, one more we got is the up and under. She's up, she keeps the ball high, finish. One more time. Up, finish. Okay. As a big, it's important for you to just get comfortable with your moves. And as often as you do them, the more you get better with them. And then once you get comfortable with all that, you can start adding more moves. One we'll show you now is what I call the Sylvia reverse. She's really comfortable with the move and she likes it. This is how she does it. She posts up, 
Rips, goes baseline to a reverse. One more time, still. She rips, faces up, goes underneath, reverse layup. So with these couple moves you'll have, get really good at one or two of them. And if you're really good at them, then the defense is gonna to start to cheat, so you wanna have a counter to it. As you get better and better, then you can add extra moves, like the Sylvia reverse, or whatever else you might like. Be consistent, stay low, have body control. I'm Sylvia Files, and that's how you do post moves. <laughs>